Hey YouTube, it's your boy G Miles. Today, which is this morning, we're back with another video. Today, we're gonna be doing some buttermilk fried chicken for the first time, so check it out. Yeah, got some chicken dog now. Got chicken dogs, since you know I love dogs, because I'm a dark meat person, not gonna lie. And also, I got the chicken drumsticks, so I'm gonna be cooking dogs and drumsticks for the butter, buttermilk fried chicken, you know? And here's the rest of the ingredients, so yeah. Got the flour, the seasonings, and also the, the old fat cultured buttermilk since I'm gonna, gonna be using that. So yeah, yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get started. Hey guys, I'm back. So, oh yeah, once you got your chicken out of the package, to get started, all you do now is just pour the buttermilk. Pour some of the buttermilk. Okay, once you did that, I want to do now just get started by adding the seasoning like some slap your mama. Black pepper. Of course, a little bit, bit of salt. Not too much. And some garlic powder. Just to give it a little flavor. Okay, once you did that, all you do now just kind of serve in. So everything is combined, you know? Once you turn it in, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I get the chicken out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got done uh, stirring the seasoning with the buttermilk, all we gonna do now is just get the chicken out. We try our best to Get most of the chicken into the bowl. Since it's gotten under the bowl like this, gotta be prepared, you know? Okay, once you got the chicken into the buttermilk, all you gotta do now is just smurge some of it around. And there we go. So, yeah, once you did that, all I'm gonna do now is just use this bowl to put the rest of the chicken in. I'm gonna keep you did it once I take care of this bowl. Hey guys, I'm back. You can see that I use both, both bowls to pour the buttermilk in there. Yep. Once you pour the buttermilk and season it and put the chicken in there, all we need to do now is just put it into the foil since we gotta marinate it. You know? I marinate the chicken. Yes, I might let it marinate for like two or four hours, just depends, you know. Okay, once you got the foil on top of the bowl of chicken, and all I'm gonna do now is just go to the fridge and I'm gonna keep it lit once I'm at the fridge. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your two bowls of buttermilk covered chicken into the fridge, and all I'm gonna do now is just let it sit for like two or four hours, just depends, so yeah. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the chicken has been marinating for like two or four hours. Just depends. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your plate chicken marinated in, in the buttermilk, and there it is. Hey, that means it's ready to go. So yeah, and all I need to do now is just you know get the flour set up in the, the seasoning, and I'm gonna keep you keep you updated once I get. I get some flour out and also the seasons out. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you I had done marinated chicken, like before we get started putting some flour, well put some chicken on the flour and stuff. So yeah. All I gotta do now is just preheat or, or fire to 400 degrees or 350. Once you did that, all I gotta do now is just pour some canola oil. And just and just start pouring the rest of it in there, you know. Okay, once you did that, now I'm gonna do now just let the oil preheat and warm up until it's hot enough. And I'm gonna keep you updated once the oil is, is hot enough. Hey guys, I'm back before we get started. All I gonna do now is just add some flour in there, which is all purpose. Once you add the app uh all purpose flour. 
or that you now just add, add some more seasoning, like some sloppy mama, just the same seasoning. So that's sloppy mama. mama. All you do now, just add some salt. Of course, some black pepper. And last but not least, it's some garlic powder. Hey guys, I'm Max. So once you got your seasoning into the flour, all you do now is just finally mix that stuff in. Yeah. Gotta get the stuff mixed in. Real good, you know? Okay, once you got everything mixed in, and all I wanna do now is just get the chicken out. And I'm gonna keep it in once I get the chicken out since we have a fried flour and stuff. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your flour and seasoning taken care of and mixed in, and all I'm gonna do now is just uh, get you a piece of chicken, cover it, uh, cover it along with the flour, you know. Okay, once you did that, gonna make sure all you have to do now is just put it onto this tray, yeah, like that. And also do the same thing. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta make sure that I gotta put the flour right along with the chicken, you know? Which is granated in, in buttermilk. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna keep you dated once I get the rest of the chicken floured up. Hey guys, I'm back. So once you got your chicken fired up and ready, and all I'm gonna do now is just finally put the chicken on into the fire. Get just a couple of pieces. And there you go. Once you get that, and all I'm gonna do now is let it cook for a couple minutes. And I'm gonna keep it good enough for the chicken to sit down for a couple minutes. Hey guys, I'm back. So once the chicken is fried up for a couple minutes, you check it out. That's what we're gonna see. Some better make fried chicken. Now we need to just cook it. So yeah. Mmm, check it out. I'm getting there, but not quite. Right there. Okay, once the chicken is still fried, now we need to just fry a little more, and I'm gonna keep it there once it's fried. Find them to a golden fifty pound package. This is better than that. Hey, got some bags. So once your chicken has been cooking for another couple of minutes, you check it out. The meat is done. All nice and going brown. Now I'm gonna make it super good. Let's see the rest of the shit. You check out the size. You make it really sweet. All nice and juicy, you know. But not, but not yet. Yeah. Okay, once you got the chicken out, and I'm gonna keep you updated once I show you the bin milk fried chicken. Hey guys, I'm back, and there you go. Now that's how you do it. Buttermilk, I get buttermilk fried chicken now to make for the first time. All nice and crispy, like the rest of the chicken, you know? Mm mm mm, looking good. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I fry the rest of this buttermilk, buttermilk fried chicken. Hey, y'all, some back. So, once you got all your chicken fried up, since you know I got, I got some in, in, in the bowl too, so check it out. Buttermilk fried chicken, which is homemade, that I made for the first time. Wow, and it turned out nice. Ooh, check it out. So, yeah, and I'm gonna keep you updated since I gotta get my sides ready and stuff. Since we're gonna be prepared to try this buttermilk fried chicken for the first time, and keep you updated once I get through making the sides. Hey guys, I'm back. So once I got my sides, I get taken care of. And here is the buttermilk fried chicken that I cooked and stuff. So yeah, so let's get this a taste test and see what, what, what we're looking for. Ooh, yeah. Check it out, all nice and crispy. Ooh, you can tell that it's almost done. It's in, it's in that bloody or anything, I hope not. So yeah, let's get this. Buttermilk, uh, buttermilk fried chicken a taste test, test in three, two, one. Mm. 
and that's some good buttermilk fried chicken. And I'm gonna keep you updated once I get through my buttermilk fried chicken. Hey guys, I'm back. So the butter, uh, buttermilk fried chicken that I had is super good. So check it out. You have two pieces of buttermilk fried chicken in my meat. Yeah, I'm gonna check out the rest. Ooh, all nice and good. Mm -mm -mm. Juicy on the, on the inside and stuff. So yeah. Yep, buttermilk fried chicken. And that's all for this buttermilk fried chicken, which is a cooking video. And also, that video is going to go up tomorrow. You're really change. So, yeah. Way too. If you're new to this channel, please give a like, share, and subscribe. And also, hit the notification bell if you're a chance. And it's been your boy, Jim Miles. Peace. I hope you enjoyed the buttermilk fried chicken video.